All right, Allison Jorland, back here in Chicagoland again, uh, tracking down the Mothman for you. I am at number 20 on Lon Strickler's uh, Chicago Mothman sightings map. And this one is a follow-up on number 19. Both of these sightings apparently occurred the same night. So I received the following report on Sunday, July 2nd, at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Good afternoon. I wanted to write in and report that uh, something happened to me and my uh, two friends a few weeks ago along the lakeshore of Chicago. We decided to report this after reading your blog, that would be Phantoms and Monsters, about a similar sighting that happened the same night as ours. The events that I'm writing about happened on Friday, June 23rd, 2017 at approximately 10 p.m. I was with a group of friends at the Adler Planetarium, just hanging out and having fun down by the concession area. We usually hang out at the lakeside because it's fun and you get to meet a lot of girls. Good to know. This particular night, we were hanging out <laughs> at our usual table near the taco stand. That's where we are right now. When we saw what had to be the biggest bat we had ever seen. This bat must have been at least seven feet tall if he was standing up, but again, my perception might be skewed because it was dark and this thing was about 20 feet up in the air. All three of us were like, what the bleep is that? We all saw it about the same time as it flew over and continued toward the area of Soldier Field. Where is Soldier Field? Let's see. I'm not sure, I think it's this way. All right, Soldier Field. Uh, it did this for maybe 20 yards or so, then abruptly changed directions and headed toward the lake. Oh, the lake's that way, that I know, I hear it. And flew out over the lake and out of sight. This thing made no noise and was easily seen by myself and at least a few other people. We were so preoccupied with looking at this flying thing that none of us thought about grabbing our phones and taking pictures. Hmm. Now he says, goes on to say, which I regret because I could have posted this on YouTube or Snapchat and made a million bucks. My friend sent me an email with a link about a similar sighting in the same general area on the same night we had ours. That is why I'm writing uh, to you about our sighting that we had that night. I am more than willing to talk about the sighting as long as my name is not used and my friends who were with me uh, that night are too. Thank you for taking my report and not thinking I'm crazy because of what I saw. The one thing that does not fit with the similar sighting that I saw on your site is there was no feeling of dread or despair, but an overwhelming urge to keep looking at the creature. But that could have just been morbid curiosity. Signed, T.A. All right, thank you for tuning in. Two sightings, the same location, near Adler Planetarium on the same night. June 23rd, 2017. Thank you for joining me and we hope to see you on another haunted road trip.